It's the beginning of a new working week. Hope you had a rewarding weekend. Welcome to News Trail this 28th September 2020. I am Aditola Kayode. The planned industrial action by the Nigeria Labour Congress and the Trade Union Congress for today has been suspended after so much deliberations from all quarters. The federal government reached an agreement with labor leaders at about 3 a.m. The suspension is for two weeks to allow the electricity tariff adjustments. Representatives of government signed the communique read by the Minister of Labor and Productivity, Chris Ngige. The team also agreed on a number of palliatives and restructuring in the electricity and petrol petroleum downstream subsector. The Inspector General of Police Ibrahim Adamu has condemned the Sunday attack on Governor Babagana Zulum's convoy, which claimed about 30 lives. The attackers, believed to be Boko Haram insurgents, had opened fire around the convoy of the governor, who was on a two day visit to Baga to receive indigents back to their town after being on exile for 21 months. This is coming two days after the convoy of government officials scheduled to meet up the governor was also attacked. Meanwhile, IGP had Adamu has condoled with the families of the victims of the attacks, urging them to continue to support and trust the Nigeria police as it strives to ensuring a more secure and safer country. Lekon or Lami Lekon Agbele Shebioba has emerged winner of the reality TV show Big Brother Niger Lockdown Season 5. He beat 19 other housemates to win the coveted winner takes all show to the tune of 85 million naira in cash and prizes. The 71 day show ended Sunday with the top five housemates after a periodic eviction show. V, Neo, and Nengi were evicted after one another, leaving Dorothy, the last lady standing coming second with a distant 21.85% votes while Lekon finished tops with 60% of the overall votes cast. The grand finale also came with a surprise with David Owen, the mayor of Lagos, Mayor Kong, performing live. 26-year-old singer and rapper Lekon, who got support from celebrities and non-celebrities alike, went into the house with about 4,000 followers on Instagram. He now has over 1 million plus of verified account. Congratulations, Lee Khan. Wishing you the very best. And in the United States, the New York Times has come up with tax information President Donald Trump has allegedly refused to make public. The tax return data, which spans over two decades, reportedly show that Trump paid $750 in federal income taxes in both 2016 and 2017. Despite receiving over $420 million in 2018 via endorsements, licensing deals, and his reality TV program, he paid no income taxes in 10 of the last 15 years, and that's according to the New York Times. Meanwhile, President Trump has denied all allegations, saying he pays a lot in federal and state income taxes. He, however, accused the Internal Revenue Service of treating him badly, saying he is willing to release his tax returns once he is no longer under audit. Would all of this make any difference in the campaigns, debates, and eventual presidential election come November 3? The world is watching. And that's it for today on News Trail. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to comment, suggest, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Dato Lakayade and all of my social media platforms. Thank you for connecting. Have a fruitful week ahead.